Again, I'm going to undo those changes. Um, it'll help if I was actually in Photoshop when I hit that. Because um, I want to kind of keep going back to the original. If you keep editing something over and over again, um, you're going to ruin the image. So that's why I hit undo. The next thing that I would like to discuss is the idea of resampling. And this is a common theme throughout the entire lecture and really the videos that I've already recorded for this demo. Um, but resampling is bad if you're not doing it on purpose. So resampling is the changing of the number of pixels in an image. And so the first thing that you should do as soon as you open up any images for editing in Photoshop is you should first, you should save a copy, right? So I'm going to save a copy before I do any editing. Toss it on my desktop. And you don't want to work in a JPEG. A JPEG is a lossy file format. And so my recommendation is always convert your file to be a Photoshop file if you're editing in Photoshop. And that way, all the changes that you're making, one, are not being made to the original image, and two, you know that you can create and save them because you're doing it inside Photoshop using the file format that Photoshop wants. The second thing that you should do is you should know what your image is. What do you have? What color mode is your image in? How many pixels do you have? What resolution are you, are you using? How big is it in inches? And so you can double check those by going to image mode in RGB. And one thing that I've said previously about RGB color mode is that when in doubt, edit in RGB. And if somebody gives you a file in RGB, don't convert it to another file format until after you're done your editing process. RGB allows you the most features that are available in Photoshop. If I change it to any other color mode, some of the features are going to be grayed out. Like right now, I can't crop because it's grayed out because I've actually had the crop tool selected. Um, but if I'm using RGB, virtually every Photoshop feature is available. Um, you can also note that it's an 8-bit um, depth image. I would say for all of Art1280, you don't want to use anything but 8-bit depth images. And then go to image size and say, well, what do I have, right? Because if you open this image and you're like, this is fantastic, I'm going to use it in my project, I'm going to print it, it's going to be, you know, 5 by 7 when printed. But then you look at the image size and it only has 300 pixels across and 900 pixels tall and tells you that that image would print at one inch by three inches tall. Then you can't use that image. You have to go back and say, well, I need to find something else. This will not work for my intended output. And so you should always look at that image and say, okay, what do I have? And when I open this image, I go, wow, I've got a big image. I've got lots of pixels, 2,736 pixels across, 3,648 pixels tall. That's great. That's like one of the biggest images that you'll probably find and work with in this class. And then you could ask the question like we did in the previous video, well, how big could it be? And if it's printing, which is usually what I kind of default to because I'm the printing teacher, but also um, printing has higher requirements um, in regard to resolution, size and in inches, that kind of thing. And so when in doubt, resolution is in my opinion, more important for the printed images because even if you mess up for the web, you're usually down sampling to that size and you can in hindsight go back and go, oh, oops, that should have been 72 resolution and change it. Whereas printing, you can't always do that. So let's get to the point of the video. So what is resampling and where would you adjust that? So resampling is the changing of the number of pixels in the image and I highly recommend if you start out with 2,736 pixels across and 3,648 pixels tall, you do not want to destroy that. Those are the pixels that were given to you that were captured from the actual source. If you were to add more pixels, it's called up sampling. You're adding more pixels to the image. And so if I resample this and I say, well, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna print it at nine by 12. I'm gonna make a big poster. Maybe it's 24 inches by, in this case, 32 inches. If you resample that, Photoshop would be like, that's fine. Now your image is 7,200 pixels across and 9,000. 600 pixels tall and it just made up thousands if not millions of pixels for your image that's not good your image is going to be blurry and kind of gross looking even though it has those pixels and it kind of is um, a contradiction to what we're talking about when we say that the more pixels you have the higher your image quality is but if those pixels are made up they're imaginary it's like i like to say that Photoshop just sprinkled pixie dust over fairy dust over your image and they were like poof now you have an extra 8 million pixels in your image. Um, if you're just making them up you can't be guaranteed that they're going to make them up in such a way that you still have a nice crisp clear image. So I'm going to going to undo that. Um, another thing that happens when you resample is called downsampling and so if I resample this image and instead of 
um, printing it at 300 and printing it at a size of 9 by 12 maybe I want to print it as 5 inches wide and so now when I'm resampling meaning I'm going to change the number of pixels in the image if I change the width to 5 inches across it will automatically adjust the height which is fine so the height would end up being 6.667 um, but notice the pixels now I have 1500 pixels across instead of 2736 and so Photoshop said well in order for your image to print as 5 inches wide at 300 resolution uh, whoops let's go back to that because I didn't mean to hit enter so in order for your image to print at 5 inches wide at 300 resolution the image would have to be exactly 1500 pixels across and you can do that math 5 inches times 300 pixels per inch 5 times 300 is 1500 and so the same happens with the height. So you have 6.667 times 300 will give you exactly 2,000 pixels tall. And while we're at this, um, if you haven't watched my videos on cropping, it is not okay to crop your image inside the image size dialog box because the aspect ratio is constrained and you should not uncheck it. So if I wanted this image to be 5 by 7, I can change the width to 5, but then the height will be 6.667. Uh, 6 then I could say, well, that's wrong. I want the height to be 7. So if you change the height to 7, it makes the width 5.25. It will never be perfectly the size that you want it to be unless the aspect ratio of the original image is the same exact aspect ratio of the cropped image. And so the only thing that you should be doing in this dialog box, to cancel here, is asking yourself, well, how big could it be? What if I wanted to output it at a certain size? And 99 times out of 100, you want to do that by not resampling. Okay, this is probably one of those topics that students get confused on most often. So if you have any questions on this, post in the discussion thread, shoot me an email or your teacher an email if I'm not your teacher. Um, come to office hours, do what you have to do, but ask questions until you fully grasp the concept of resampling and most importantly, why it's a bad idea.